Okay, guys, this is the SRT8 uh, 2008. Anyway, what I want to show you here is how to let the back seat down. Because I can't find a video on YouTube that shows you how to let the back seat down. Okay. Looking at the back seat right here. On the right hand side, this is the driver's side. See that loop right here? You put your finger in that loop and pull on it. Okay. You see the seat right here. Put one finger right here in here and just pull it forward. Okay. So you not only do you have this seat, but you've got the center console uh, right here too. Okay. Now we grab this right here and just pull it forward. It only takes about, I don't know, eight pounds of pressure to pull this thing forward. And hold on a second. Okay. Get a little idea of lean forward. But you pull it forward and the seat comes down. Okay. And we'll do the other side too, just to show you. Okay, guys, we're on the other side. Got got the seat down here. This is the passenger side back seat. Over here, we got a little loop right here. Put your finger in here and pull forward. And there you have it, that's the trunk. Can't tell it from here, but that's pretty spacious right there. And let's raise it back up. Just push that, seven or eight pounds of pressure, lock that back in. And again, grab the loop on the edge, which is the same for the other seat over here. And probably four or five pounds of pressure there and pull the seat to you I've heard some people say that if you don't like the headrest being in your way when you're looking out the back of the window backing up and stuff like that if you wanted to you could just pull your seats down both of them so we'll pull it down and then look in the trunk Okay guys, looking at the trunk right here. The trunk itself is pretty spacious anyway. And now that we have the seats down, you've got a lot of room back here. And uh, so, you got twice as much room, looks like. Where you can put stuff all the way in here underneath and you see that so that's your amplifier woofer so anyway that's how you let the back seat down it goes back up just as easy so that's how you do it on the back seat of the srt8 okay guys our seats are down And just grab them. I just push that one back. Push that one back. You can tell it locked into place. So that was pretty simple, right? Okay. That's how you do it for the SRT8. And you have your air condition there vent people in the back and you got a little lever here let your seat back and put your seat belt on one of the things on um, letting your back seat down I want to make sure you understand when you let these back seats down right here, you're going to take your front seat right here, 
pull the lever up here in the front and slide your seat all the way to the all the way forward uh, make sure your seat belt is unhooked here and only it goes in goes into this little catch right here take your seat belt off now I have this one just strapped in here if you notice this is a uh, SRT8 uh, it's got velcro on it I ordered this thing from um, I thought it was in the United States that's where I live but it actually it came from uh, Bulgaria took about a week and a half or something like that or two weeks to come in but it was pretty reasonable on price and uh, I think it kind of accents it pretty good So, two of those, I think, were like $18 or something like that with shipping and handling. I can put a link for that. And this is where I put the T-shifter in, too. Mopar T-shifter. That was like $30 shipping and handling. Takes about five minutes to put that in. Okay, guys.